Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video and Happy New Year! I hope everyone had a safe and fun New Year's Eve. Welcome to 2018. I wanted to share quickly the things that I got for Christmas. Um, not because I want to brag by any means. Uh, I love watching these videos. I know my video is a little bit later than most people put theirs up, but I was enjoying time with family and watching as many more Hallmark Christmas movies as I could fit in. This is my first year watching them and to say that I got addicted to them would be an understatement. Like my daughter and my husband were like, enough with the Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm like, I can't, I love them, I love them. I just, they brought me so much joy. Oh, which is, I have that mug somewhere, hold on. So here's the mug. Like I said, this is a, what I got for Christmas video. This is not to brag at all about what I got for Christmas. Um, I am not one of those people that like loves luxury designer things that not even loves. I don't care about that stuff. Uh, materialistic things really aren't that important to me. Anyways, this is not to brag. This is to show in case you have um, gift cards that you want to spend and you need some ideas or you are thinking about presents for other people that are coming up with birthdays or anything like that. So the first thing that I got well, it's not the first thing I got, but the first thing I want to show that I got, since I just mentioned my love for Hallmark Christmas movies, my mom got me this mug. She got it from me and my brother, and it says, I just want to pet my dog and watch Hallmark Christmas movies all day. I was so like, yes, mom, this is the perfect mug. I, if you follow me on Instagram, I always have my social media um, links down below in the information bar, but I posted a picture of me. It was a gloomy day and I was just drinking some coffee in bed, watching Hallmark Christmas movies. Oh, and a lot of people ask me where this is from. I actually don't know. I'm gonna call my mom real quick and ask her. Okay, well apparently she's not sure where this is from, but she ordered it online. So I will try and find it online and link it down below in case you are interested in a cup like this or you know someone that loves the Hallmark. I mean, this could be something to make a mental note for next year for Christmas time, but I just thought this was the cutest mug ever and especially if you are addicted to the Hallmark Christmas movies like I became this year. To go along with mugs, my daughter actually um, got this mug for me. At her school, they do a holiday, what's it called, like a holiday shop where the parents can send money with them to school and they can pick out different things that they want to get for family members or friends or whatever. So my daughter got my husband and I each a coffee mug because we drink coffee every day. And she got me this one that says beautiful mom, which was so sweet. She was so excited to give my husband and I our um, gifts. On Christmas morning, she wanted me and my husband to open our gifts from her first before she touched any of them, which is a sign that you're raising a good kid that she was not ready to rip into all of her presents. She wanted us to open ours first, so that was the sweetest thing ever. And she got my husband a super dad mug, so I thought that was really thoughtful. The next thing that I got was actually, I bought it for my husband, a different version of it, and I went ahead and bought it for myself, and I was like, here you go, you can put this in my stocking. But I got it from Five Below, which I love that store so much, and it is a two USB port car charger, and it looks like this. I just loved the design of it with the white and the gold, and the fact that you can put two USBs in there is always super helpful, especially if you have a significant other that comes along with you all the time or a kid that needs their phone charged. You can charge them both at the same time. So I loved this one. I think my husband's I got was blue, but um, yeah, love this. Haven't used it yet though, obviously. So hopefully it works good. But if it does work good, I'm gonna definitely love it. The next thing I got were two little gifts for my husband and my daughter. They went to Target and they both picked me out a necklace. I don't know if you've been to the Target jewelry area, but they have these that have the different sayings on them and what they mean. So my husband got me this one that says laughter, laugh long, laugh hard, and laugh loud. For laughter is the spark that ignites the heart and releases the soul. And I like the design on this one and they know I always wear necklaces. 
and my husband always makes me laugh so that was perfect and then my daughter picked out this one that says shine and this one says revive your light manifest your dreams and realize your worth so I thought those were really pretty um, little finds at Target. The next thing that I got was actually a toothbrush. I got a Sonicare toothbrush. My dentist got this for my husband and myself. Well, obviously our own. Our dentist is such an amazing guy and we've been friends with him for a long time. And I mentioned in my last dental checkup that um, asking him like what he thought of the different um, electric toothbrushes and if there was one that he prefers and he was like you know what i'm gonna get i'm i'm gonna get i'm a, i'm going to get one for uh your husband because i was asking just specifically for my husband because he had mentioned that he had wanted a um electric toothbrush like this and he said i'm gonna get one and then you can just you know pay for it like at cost or whatever and then he surprised us and he got us both one and i've been using this since we got it uh, like a week and a half ago and I love it oh my gosh it makes my teeth feel cleaner than they've ever felt I don't know what the difference is I mean I know there's like technology in this that is designed to really make you brush your teeth really well but um, I love this and I definitely think that if you are interested in getting an electric toothbrush per my dentist recommendation, I would say go with the Sonicare. I don't know which exact one this is. It just has the three different speeds and obviously you charge it and it's worked great and I love it so much. The next thing I got is not the Clarisonic because I actually got this a couple years ago from my husband, but I got the Clarisonic brush head for foundation. I have seen Tati, I love Tati. Um, on YouTube use this and someone else uh, hot and flashy use this and I've heard other people talk about it too and I wanted to get it it looks like this and if you can see some foundation on it, it's because I used it today it's very soft and you just attach it and then you just attach it like you do any of your Clarisonic brush heads so you can switch it out and use this during the day when you put your makeup on and then switch it back to your you know cleaner but I think this works really well I've only used it I would say four times since I got it and I really enjoyed it I still use my beauty blender after just to like pounce everything in a little bit better but I do think it does a really nice job of blending in your foundation and also if you're doing like any kind of cream contour or cream blush or anything like that I think it works really well and I'm excited to have it the next thing I got were a couple makeup things. I actually asked for these. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores um, powder, and that's my husband. And I love this powder so much. I've never tried the Laura Mercier um, translucent, translucent powder or their Secret Brightening powder, but I've used this a lot and I always go back to it. I think it does do a really great job of blurring, blurring, your pore area and just making everything look soft and I highly recommend this especially if you have aging skin like I do which is such a fun thing to deal with I think it does a really pretty job of um, not making anything look too cakey and making it look soft and I really like this one a lot I like the compact one too but the compact is broke on me a couple times so now I'm kind of sticking with the loose powder version my mom also got me this Anastasia, Anastasia, people pronounce it all different. I say Anastasia, uh, the glow kit. And I think it's really pretty. The colors are a little, um, I would say darker than I would have anticipated, but I have been using, which one? The, this one, the Moonstone um, right now and I think it's really pretty and I think these colors will be really pretty in the summertime It does say sun dipped and one of them the color does say summer So I think these will be really pretty to add in the summertime, but right now I am using the one um, Moonstone or the tourmaline one. I think I used a little bit 
that's what that color looks like. This next thing is a makeup palette I did ask for and my husband picked it up for me. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I saw it at Ulta and I was swatching it um, during Black Friday and I thought the colors were really pretty. I do love Jaclyn Hill. I think she um, seems like a very sweet person. I know people have their mixed feelings about her. I think it's hard when you're um, in the public eye as she is and has grown. Uh, not up in the public eye and she faces a lot of scrutiny with people and the, I just feel bad for anyone that's in the beauty world on YouTube. I think that people like viewers can be really harsh and just mean. My husband works on radio and he is also an actor so we've dealt with our fair share of quote unquote haters and people like that and it is sad. It's sad to see people just get completely beat up by other people that don't even know them. Um, so I'm not one of those people that will beat up on Jacqueline. I think that she does a great job at what she does. She's amazing at doing makeup. She seems like she has a really sweet personality and that's what I'm gonna go by. And I'm gonna support her and I thought the palette, I wouldn't support it if, I mean, I would I want to support her regardless, but I wouldn't have gotten this palette or asked for this palette if I didn't think it was really pretty. And it didn't let me down. I have used this probably oh four or five times just playing around with it so far, but there's 35 colors in it, and there it's a great mix of mattes and shimmers. I think this color, this palette can get you through summer stuff, winter stuff. It's a very versatile palette and I'm very excited to have it and I haven't been disappointed. And I think it was only like 30 something dollars. So not bad for a palette. It is by Morphe, um, but apparently Jaclyn had all the say in the design of it and the formulations and all that. I don't know if that's completely true or not, but I've been very happy with this for the amount of eyeshadows you get, for the versatility of the palette, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So if you do have a gift card at Ulta, I would say at least go and swatch this baby up and try it out because there are so many colors that I think can work for so many different skin types and looks that you want. The next thing that I got is this jacket. This is a jacket that my friend got me, one of my very best friends, her name is Kim. And it is a sequiny, I would say, what color is this? Like a rose gold, it's not like a true gold. But yeah, I would definitely say it's more of a rose gold color. And she saw that I had a black one on that was similar to this. And when she saw that, she was like, well, I think she'll really like this one too. So I did get this one. I, am, I actually wore this on New Year's Eve. And um, you can sure probably see a picture of it on my Instagram. I just think this jacket's really pretty and I'm excited to wear it lots of different ways. And I'm very appreciative of it. The next thing I got was this little uh, trucker hat. I don't know if trucker hats are coming back in style. I loved trucker hats when they were in style like years ago. But my mom got this when she was shopping at Express for my brother. He loves Express clothes. And she saw it and she immediately thought of me. It says, blame champagne <laughs> and this is kind of the perfect uh little hat for me because i am a big champagne lover and um you know sometimes i say silly things when i drink a lot of champagne so i thought this was really cute i also got some new slippers i actually asked for these i made a little amazon wish list for my husband and myself and my daughter for to share with our family and stuff because people always ask you know what do you want and I like to get things that are very practical, things that I will use, um, things that are cost effective. Sorry, there's fuzz from this. Uh, for people to buy, I am not one of those that wants like all this luxury stuff and all these really expensive items. I like things that I can use every day and that's just kind of the way I am. I would rather spend money on things for my house and things like that. So. Unless I become a super rich one day and that all goes out the window, but I don't think it would because this is kind of the person that I am. I don't really care about brand names and, and designer stuff and all that. So these are not designer. I know like Ugg makes um, a really popular pair and all this. I will link these down below if I can still find them, but these are so comfortable and they're just gray and they are fully lined with this white 
faux fur inside of it. And these are the most comfortable dang slippers I have ever tried on. I don't normally wear a lot of slippers, but lately my feet have been very cold in the evening times, even though it's not cold in Florida. So I know I will get a lot of use out of these. I just think they're really cute. The next thing I got was an instant pot. Oh, I don't know if you guys have heard about an instant pot or know what it is. Um, it's supposed to be like a slow cooker. What does it say? Seven in one multi-use programmable pressure cooker. So you are, and it has smart technology, remembers the way you cook. Um, it's basically like it does everything. It says on here that it does like rice, porridge. I don't know who eats porridge except for the three little bears. What's that, right? <laughs> I don't know. But it does steam, it has yogurt in here. I have saute, slow cook, meat. It says that it does so many things. My sister-in-law has one and she absolutely loves it. So I was so excited to get this because I wanted to try it out. Um, and I'm really excited to use it. If any of you guys have gotten an Instant Pot or used it, let me know down below what you think of it. If you have any recommendations or anything about it, I would love to know more because I'm ready to put this bad boy to use. I also got some new um, towels. I asked for new bath towels and washcloths and things like that because again, I like to get Christmas presents that I would need already and would rather not spend my own money on. And um, so those are the kinds of things that I give my mom little lists of them like, hey, I'd love some new towels. Like last year it was like new bed sheets. Uh, so I did get some new towels. I'm not gonna bring them out because this you know, they're just towels, but they're nice and soft and fresh, and I'm excited about those. I also asked my mom for some new TV trays, like, you know, little trays that you can set up next to your couch and watch TV. Yes, I've got a beautiful dining table behind me that I adore, but to say that we sit there at all of our meals and you know, eat there would be a complete lie. We don't. <laughs> we like to sit on our couch and watch things on TV while we eat the majority of the time. I mean, we do sit down there some, but we, um, it's just kind of way I grew up and you know, some people that works for them and some people it doesn't, but for us it does. And we had some busted TV trays. Like they just had seen their time and I looked at Walmart and Target and stuff like that and I never really saw any that caught my eye and then I was looking on Amazon and I found these so I put it on my little Amazon wish list and I'm so happy I did because I love them. They have this marble look to them and they are so pretty compared to the ones we have were just like plain brown. They do have black legs but it came four in a pack. Um, like I said, I did find these on Amazon, so I will link them down below in case you are interested in getting some new TV trays. I do think these were a little pricey um, compared to like TV trays you can get at Walmart, but I know that you can also, like they have places that TV trays are way more expensive, but I do like these because they're different looking and I'm really excited about them. The next gift that I got was actually a gift for me and my husband from our very good friend, Cooper. It's a Mac Daddy. What is this called? Oh, and that's a JBL Pulse Mac Daddy thingy. And <laughs> Cooper speaker. is the man. It, yeah. We have a little version that's like this big. And it does a good, okay job, but my husband and Cooper were, um, they've worked together on um, different acting projects and they were out of town together and they went and bought this for Cooper and my husband was like, this thing is so cool. And Cooper and his um, wonderful girlfriend came and stayed with us for a couple days right before Christmas and he surprised us with this speaker and this is a game changer yeah it is it's amazing the sound is fantastic and he's a great friend and thank you Coopanob and we love you guys and I want to brag about my wife real quick she got me you put your hand behind it you always do that <laughs> that's what she says. I know you put your hand behind it and that has my initials on it my wife's a great gift giver I'm not a great gift giver but thank you for my wonderful knife 
And thank you he for He likes awesome. to carry around I, a I always knife carry a knife him. because you never need it. Then to the top, never stop bracelet and wonderful colognes. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. He loves to carry a knife around with him. And never so, know when you're going to need it. <laughs> like a pocket knife. And I found a um, one that on Etsy that I could have his initials engraved on and it has a little um, flashlight on it and a thing that like shatter a window if like, God forbid, you are stuck in a car and need to get out. So it's like a multifunctional, you know, pocket knife. So he's really excited about that. And then the bracelet that he showed to the top never stop is like our mantra. We came up with it, I don't know, God, how many years ago? Like. 10 years ago and we were going through a really tough time and we just needed to say something to make us help keep our mind in a positive mindset and to the top never stop just became our thing that we always said so I also found a place on Etsy that um, engraved that on a bracelet for him so he was really excited about that and oh this speaker though we have the little one like I said the cool thing about this is we haven't figured it out yet but you can if you have multiple ones you can connect them all so you can have one like playing like outside one playing in another room and all that so that would be really fun for like parties and stuff like that so love this and it's even got a strap like this thing is so amazingly huge and awesome okay the very last thing that i got was a complete surprise and like the best surprise my brother is the best guy he is so sweet and he bought himself a dyson vacuum before christmas and he was bragging the cordless kind and he watches the cleaning videos on youtube all the time like clean with me is and he always begs me he's like do a clean with me because he knows i love cleaning and i just I never have gotten around to doing one, but anyways, he's like all the all the the really awesome ones. They all have this vacuum. I had to try it out, so he got it. He fell in love with it, and he was like, "Megan, you would love this thing." I'm like, "Yeah, I sure, I'm sure I would, but it's expensive." And lo and behold, on Christmas Day, he gave me a present, and I opened it, and he bought the Dyson vacuum for me. Oh. And I'm so excited. Obviously, I have a different attachment on it. Sorry if it looks a little different. My camera died. I love this camera. It's the Sony A5100. Nothing like crazy big. It's not a DSLR. It's a great camera though, but if you are on it for too long, it dies. It says like internal, it's too, it, it heats up too much. So you have to turn it off for a couple minutes and then come back to it. That's the only fault with this camera. But back to this vacuum. It is like this, it has a charging station that you um, hook up to a wall and plug it in and then you just lift it in and out and it lifts in and out super easy and it has so many attachments for it and it has a special attachment which, oh, it's over there but it's, a, let me get it. This is the attachment that made me extra fall in love with this thing. Don't mind it because it's dirty. I've been using the crap out of it, but, and I have a bulldog who sheds like nobody's business. So that's why this thing is even more amazing. It's like a microfiber that is on here and I'm just pulling off dog hair. Um, but it, it sucks up the dog hair and all like the fuzzies with it so well. Or if you have like a fluffy um, area rug, this goes right over it and it doesn't suck anything up. This is perfect for wood floors as well. You can use it on carpet too, like regular carpet if you want, but they have another attachment that's for actual carpet. But the fact that it has so many different attachments and it is cordless is a game changer. I'm obsessed with it. I've used it every single day since I got it. I love it. And if you are in the market for a new vacuum, I would say save up until you can get one of these because the fact that it's cordless, it holds its battery power for a good amount of time and you have so many different attachments. If you are someone especially that has dogs or dark hardwood floors and you need to clean it regularly, this is going to change your life. So I'm not being paid to say that whatsoever. Obviously, I just fell in love with it and I'm so appreciative of my brother for getting it for me. He's the best. I have one more thing that I wanted to share. This is not a Christmas present. I didn't get it for Christmas. Um, it's the only like luxury thing. I guess you could say the Dyson is a luxury thing as well. But uh, my husband and my daughter got this 
purse for me a couple months early. He got this purse for me just as a um, just a sweet gift, random impromptu gift. But this is the Henry Bendel Jet Setter Backpack Purse. And I love this purse. I have it also in a light tan khaki color and I wanted a darker color for the winter season and just to have and this one is leather my other one is um, not leather and I love this purse so much this is what it looks like and it has straps on the back so you can wear it as the backpack or you can undo the straps and make it a crossbody or you can take the straps off completely and just hold it like this and I love the functionality of this purse. It does have the zippers in the front. It's got a pocket right here. The inside is a mess right now, but it's lined with like this purple line uh, lining inside and it's so pretty and I just I just adore this bag so much. I take it with me everywhere. This is my everyday bag. They do make this in the mini jet setter size, um, but this is actually a perfect size for me as a mom with a almost seven year old. Uh, I am still carrying around lots of random stuff. So this is a great size for me, but I would also like a mini jet setter one as well. Um, but this is, I think the leather one is like in the 400s. So definitely it's still a pricey bag for sure. And it's the most I've ever spent or we've ever spent on a bag for me besides the other jet setter, which was actually a little bit less because it wasn't leather. Um, but for a luxury bag, this is super well priced as compared to getting a Gucci or a Prado or a Versace or any of Louis Vuitton, any of that stuff. This is a way more affordable and to me it's way like the functionality of it is just amazing. So I wanted to share this in case you have a birthday coming up or Valentine's Day or anything like that that you may want to put that on your little wish list for your significant other. I think that that is a fantastic purse and it could possibly work as a diaper bag too. I don't know but it's been a long time since I've had a diaper bag so I don't know about that but it could work. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out what I got for Christmas this year and maybe gave you some ideas of some things you may want to put on your wish list for next year or a birthday or a different holiday or you just have some gift cards that you want to spend and uh, you know now you have some different ideas of some things. So again I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!